I'm Alex Hale and welcome to this week's episode of Win Stuff. This is a really big episode. It's our very last one of the year and even bigger than that, it's our last one in this studio. So today we're joined by three former executive producers of Win Stuff. So it's like the Win Stuff reunion episode. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off and have you all go across, introduce yourself and share your favorite, most dear Win Stuff memory. So okay. we'll start here with uh, Tess. Uh, I'm Tess. I am the former executive producer, one of them. And my favorite memory is winning this episode. Ooh. That hasn't Ooh. happened yet, so it's not yet. a memory. Wow. Yikes. Confident, all right. So. OK, but my real memory is getting margaritas with Brandon. It's a good one. It is a good one. Uh, my favorite memory, um, my name is Brandon. I'm a now ex-executive producer of Win Stuff. Um, that is also one of my favorite memories. But not to uh, repeat, I think my favorite memory would probably be Org Fair and just like aggressively trying to gather people to be in win stuff, just super Screaming fun. You really just get to yell at people and be like, do you, do you like TV? Come be on our show. And it worked. Hey, it worked. Yeah. Have, no, like, it worked. a fantastic crew. So I think it worked out perfect for everyone. Amazing. So I'm Michelle. I am already ahead of these two people because I was a former executive producer before they were. Um, no, you were not. Yeah, yeah, I was. No, not before, <laughs> not before me. I was a former executive us. producer before you two. And oh, going okay. along with that, my favorite memory was my last show last year. Um, my last show was the spring of last year. And the last compliment box always has a special place in my heart. That's true. Compliment box, yeah. Mm -hmm. compliment box. It's kind of one of the cool things that makes one stuff great. It yeah. is. I'll say. Should I change my margarita answer now? You guys are so hard for <laughs> you can if you winning want. this episode. Um, so y'all know the rules, but y'all might not. So first round, you pick between a music, movie, or television question. I will read the question. As soon as I finish reading, you can buzz in. Not before. I know y'all want to, but not before. Uh, if you get it right, you get a point, and you get to pick the next category. So ready to go? Sound good? Ready for the last oh, episode I of Win Stuff? So ready. I I'm so ready. Mentally Scale of prepping. one, you're ready, you're ready. That's where my whole life has led to this right moment. I'm shaking right now. <laughs> I'm like, let's go. Let's go. All right, OK, so Tess. Good morning, Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been staring at me. That's the one. Good morning, Baltimore. Your question is, what famous musical began an open casting call for its lead? Sorry, I broke the rule already. You did, and you don't get to answer. For, <laughs> oh, <laughs> for its live television adaptation. Tess, you can't answer. See, you can't buzz it. Stop buzzing in. Brandon. Uh, uh, is it hairspray? It is hairspray. Oh, yes, yes. Not fair. Yes. All right. Uh, <laughs> see, I told you. I told you what the rules were. Uh, go ahead, Brandon. All right. Oh, no one's great. exempt. I got the Brandon, would odd. you like Larger Than Vegas, a game like no other, or Lemonade? Ooh. Let's go, let's go Lemonade. Lemonade. Your question is, what tennis star made an appearance on Beyonce's hour-long visual album that premiered on HBO this past Saturday? Tess, that was before the question. He said Saturday and I did it. <laughs> Serena Williams. That is correct. Playing yes. fast and loose, Tess. That's how I play. fast and loose the rules. That's how I play. So here's the question, Michelle. Are you going to catch up? What's the... Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Tess, would you like Larger Than oh, Vegas, a game like no other, or old versus new? Which is sort of what we have like going A game like no other. A game like no other? Your question is... Dwayne Johnson recently confirmed to be starring in the remake of what 1995 movie? That is... What are you thinking? I, I don't know. I just need to do Well, uh, I'll give you a hint. <laughs> it stars Robin Williams. I got it. Oh. Jumanji. This. Hmm. Oh, one. excuse one me. One of my favorite movies growing <laughs> up. It's good one. not where I was good going. One. I knew that. My mom just told me about that. It's a, it's a classic. I, I don't like the fact that they're remake, remaking so many movies, like yeah. Ghostbusters and Jungle Book. Like it's, I don't know. Come up with your own ideas. They really, can't. though. No, it's like, oh, like it's such they a, like a money-making <laughs> scheme, you know? It's like you, you can't come up with something new. you got to recycle. That's true. Uh, Brandon, would you like Larger Than Vegas, Goodbye For Now, or Old Versus New? I will do Goodbye For Now. <laughs> OK. Your question <laughs> is, <laughs> what Marvel movie was removed from the studio's release schedule? Is it? Justice League Part One. It's not Marvel. Oh, it's not. right. Is it Suicide Squad? It is not. No. Okay. Michelle, do you have a guess? Is it the Black Widow movie? It is also not that. It is in Green Lantern. Also not that. <laughs> That's not Marvel. Aquaman. I know it's DC. I just had to say. <laughs> it's it. also not. How many? How many superheroes can we name? <laughs> is it Iron Man Six? <laughs> no, thank God. Green Hornet. 
Nope. Green nope. Lantern. <laughs> I already said that one. It's, still not, it's nothing green. The answer is inhuman. That's the one. That was my what next guess. That? Well, you didn't guess it. So oh. it only, you're only allowed three guesses Negative around. Negative points. That's a, yeah, subtract right. your point. Down don't, down. Don't play We're not going to do that. All right. We only win stuff. We don't We're all starting stuff. from zero now, right? <laughs> you Everyone knows. recalibrates. Yeah, no. Uh, who picked that category? That was, that was I forgot me. after all that. Uh, that all is buzzing. It's so confusing. Larger than Vegas. Larger than Vegas. Your question is, your question is, which 90s boy band recently announced that they would be giving Vegas a try? Oh, what? Is it boys to men? No, it is not. <sighs> They're there. 90s boy band. Is it, I got a 50-50 shot. You do. Backstreet Boys. Yes, it is. Oh, yes. Oh, not no, insane. I like almost said insane. <sighs> it's a tough one. They're kind of the uh, same. Boys they to are... men are in Vegas. FYI. Good to know. If you <laughs> wanted to see them. Did you the big one's in Vegas. No, I saw their billboard. <laughs> okay. Uh, Brandon, would you like pretty exclusive Boy Apocalypse or Old versus New? Let's do Boy Apocalypse for 500. Boy Apocalypse for 500, Brandon. Yeah. 500 Question points. is, your answer is, <laughs> members from Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, 98 Degrees, and O-Town recently starred in a horror western movie featuring what kind of fictional beings? Zombies. That is correct. Yes. What movie is this? It's, what is this? I, it like, is, it's really obscure. It sounds horrible. Yeah, it looks really bad. It's, um, it could only be... Well, I mean, if you asked me what the title was, I would not have known. Tragically, I don't either. It's like, like a that's, western. You know, that's where we're at. No, it's, it's, that's, it's, it, there's no way it's ever going to be. With an all-star cast like that, <laughs> we're in for a treat. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> Tess, would you like pretty exclusive Baloo 2 or Old versus New? Uh, old versus New. Old versus New. Your question is What new show based on Neil Gaiman's book began production recently? Is it Book of Mormon? It is not Book okay. of Mormon. That'd be cool though. That would be solid. If I don't think Neil Gaiman wrote that. I don't know. He did not. That. I don't know who that is. I saw the word production. But what did Neil Gaiman write? That's the question. Yeah, I'm out. Any guesses? I feel like you're gonna say I'll it, and we're gonna know. I feel like you I might. recognize that name. I'll give you a hint. Uh, a synonym for the title could be <laughs> you. <laughs> this one really isn't even one. I don't even know what I'm doing. The answer is American Gods. I don't nope. even know. What that's so, I was like, U.S. deities, that. and that's just not. Is it a musical? <laughs> just not helpful at all. Is it a musical? Um, is it what? A musical? I don't think so. Are the no, Backstreet Boys no. gonna be in it? Yes, <laughs> with and zombies NSYNC and O Town. As soon as they get done being zombies, they're gonna yeah rise from the dead and be in this. Uh, that brings us to the end of the first half of round one. We will see you right after the commercial break. Thanks so much for watching. I'm one on Monkey Guy. The chance of being involved in a robbery is one in seven hundred and fifty-seven. The chances of being struck by lightning. One in seven hundred and fifty thousand. Please fasten your seat belts for unexpected turbulence. The chances of being a victim in an airline crash? One in twenty-nine million. Hey, could I get some peanuts? The chances of being involved in a car crash are far greater than lightning strikes and plane crashes. And if you are texting while driving, your risk of crash increases 23 times. Now, I may be an unlucky guy, but I don't have to be part of that statistic, and neither do you. Drive responsibly. If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs, just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? That can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. 
When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover keytar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff. Create jobs. Hi, and welcome back to Win Stuff. We are halfway through the first round. This is our very last episode of the year and our last episode in the studio. So we've got three former executive producers joining us. Scores right now, we've got Tess with two points, Brandon in the lead with three, and Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> and Michelle. And Michelle. I'm going to make a comeback. You're gonna make, yeah, you're gonna make, we're, we're so early into the game. There's plenty of time. I mean, it's obviously rigged, but. Definitely, yes. We sat here and we thought, which, what doesn't Michelle know? And that's, yeah, no, we should. No, never. We would never do that. Uh, Brandon, your turn to start the round, since we started with Tess last time. Or not the round, but, you know, halfway through. In case you're wondering, we are watching HDMI 2. Love it. Uh, Brandon, would you like pretty exclusive Baloo 2 or People Were Hyped? Uh, Baloo 2. Baloo 2. It's hard to say. It is. Disney confirmed they are planning a sequel to what current box office hit? The no Jungle way. Book. The Jungle yes, Book. Yes, that is correct. It's rigged. It's so rigged. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's the Jungle I, Book. That's yeah. correct. I didn't really like the first one. I was going to say, have y'all seen it? Nah. I mean, I mean, yeah, I did. But it's like the same thing. I don't like that they're remaking it. Like, it was can't. weird because at one moment you're like watching just the animals, so you know it's like you're actually watching nothing. <laughs> like, uh, I was sober Aliens. when I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Tess, would you like pretty exclusive, wait for it, or people were hyped? Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. Your question is, what famous actor is starring as Count Olaf in the upcoming A Series of Unfortunate Events? No way. Neil Patrick Harris. Yes, that is correct. another one? Are you just Brandon, do you also know the answer? I, yeah, I did know the answer. Oh. And I even buzzed in early that time God I thought. <laughs> God bust faster. Uh, yeah, fast fingers. That's it. Okay. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait for it to come out personally. Uh, Bra uh, Tess, just kidding. Brandon did not get it right. Like Would you like hand. pretty exclusive <laughs> spots or people were hyped? Um, pretty exclusive. Pretty exclusive. Your question is, which streaming service was Beyonce's new song, Lemonade, available on first? Was it Pandora? It was not Pandora. Was it Spotify? It was not Spotify. It was Jay-Z's. What's I it called? I don't know the name. Ooh. What's it called? There you go. I gave you the answer. You got a big show. old wave it's, coming in. Yeah, it's like blue wave. No. No. Yeah, it's a big old wave coming in. Waves? Nope, it's not. A Title! <laughs> yes! Oh, yes. Yes. oh no. Michelle's oh, no. on the board. You're with welcome. A, <laughs> with a big old hint coming in. <laughs> um, Mich Michelle, would you like purple rain <laughs> spots or people were hyped? I'm very emotional. Let's go with purple rain. Purple rain. Your question is, what iconic pop star passed away last Thursday? Uh, what? You buzzed That's in too even. early, that doesn't count. Who's Prince? Prince. Yes. yes. Oh, wait, did you just say Prince? No, <laughs> I said, who's Prince? I said, who's Prince? The artist friendly notice Prince. It is, yes. Oh, Still he's Prince. from Minnesota. Do is I it a trick answer? Uh, no. No, the answer is Prince. No. She buzzed in before and like yelled it out anyway. I'm like, who's that? Yeah, she just buzzed in and yelled it out. Pretty much. That's not how we do stuff win stuff. It's not. We have rules here. It's changed um, since you left. It used to be energy. All right, we've got one more time, or one question. One, oh my goodness, time for one more question. Brandon, would you like not coming any closer, spots or people were hyped? Oh gosh, oh gosh. I want spots. Spots, your question is, Emma Stone is starring as what classic villain in an upcoming Disney live action movie? Cruella de Vil. That is correct. I'm yes. so excited for um, that. I'm yes. sorry, the question is what and movie, not villain. Oh, but. It, oh, it is uh, villain, sorry. Okay. I was like, no, no classic. I don't know the name. Yeah, I, yeah, I messed yes. up. And we will see you right after the commercial break. Cook foods to the right temperature using a food thermometer. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. Get caught buzz driving 
and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Hi, and welcome back to Win Stuff. We are enjoying our last episode of the year. Scores right now, we've got Tess with four points, Brandon in the lead with five. Stop doing Close that. Close game over there, and then Michelle is uh, plenty of time at one point. There's still plenty of show time. left. Well, here's the thing. Round two, points are doubled. Uh, again, y'all probably know the, the rules at this point. Uh, you pick between a connection or a one-liner. In the case of a connection, I'll give you two actors, and you have to tell me what they were in together. In the case of a one-liner, I will give you a quote, and you have to tell me who said it and in what. All right, ready to go? Ready to start? Michelle, well, you yeah. can pick which one you want first, since, you're, since the oh, other two have already chosen. Would you like a connection or a one-liner? I'm likely to be terrible at both, but let's go with hmm. one-liner. <laughs> one-liner. <laughs> Your one-liner <laughs> is... Hogwarts is fictional. You do know that, don't you? It's important to me that you know that. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I know that. Any guesses? Is, is, is it from Parks and Rec? It is, so you get a point. I don't, know, said I don't know the show well enough to know the characters. It was uh, Leslie's husband, Ben. Yes, yes. So you each get one point. Darn it. Yeah. Michelle, you're catching up. Woo. I've only like heard that show in the background. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, like yeah absolutely. So you sort of subconsciously retain. Just yeah, like yeah, like you show. hear it. Yep, know, yep. Um, I, don't I have think tragically that's watched totally way too much of The Bachelor that way because my mom watches it and it's like, I could always hear it in the other room, and I'm like, oh, mom, you gotta turn that off. You can, you can summarize every episode just because it's ingrained. Pretty in much, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, one, one, whatever his name, was just not the right guy. Yeah, That's all no, I can say. not a fan. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> Michelle, we'll let you pick since you're trailing a little bit. Michelle, would you like a connection or a one-liner? Let's go with connections. Connection. Kit Harrington and Maisie Williams. Game of Thrones. That is correct. I don't even know yes. who they are. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I'm so sorry for you. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's like, there's, it's a very distinct, like there's two groups of people. There's those who watch Game of Thrones and those who don't. Like, it's a very, I'll, I'll hang out with Michelle over here. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Tess, would you like a connection or a one-liner? Uh, let's do a connection. A connection. Your connection is Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. That is, uh, with, with, <laughs> no, I'm not done. I got it. It's Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It is Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yes, that is it. That's yeah. it. The spy Darn movie. It? And they were also married. I feel like they, they are, a yeah. Lot more stuff they're married. Also, they're married. They're children. Does that count? <laughs> no. <laughs> Connected from marriage. DNA. Yes, there you go. Uh, Brandon, would you like a connection or a one liner? Uh, let's mix it up and go to one liners. One liner? All right. Your one liner is Oh, look, another glorious morning. Makes me sick. Hocus Pocus, yes. Winifred Sanderson. What? Yes, that is correct. Oh, yes. Sorry. I was just about to say Does that. Does this look like the Halloween episode? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Hocus Pocus is year round. You can enjoy that any, any day of the year. That's right. Sure. Oh, see, Tess is on the same page. Huzzah. Tessie, would you like a connection or a one liner? Let's do a one liner. One liner down there. Uh, your quote is Panda, 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 I got broads in Atlanta. Is it Beyonce Lemonade? Is it uh, the panda theme song by the pandas? It, it is panda. <laughs> that is correct. Really? Yes. <laughs> the Got song it. is panda. Do you know who's By Beyonce. It? No. <laughs> Michelle, do you have a guess? You're looking at me. <laughs> no. No. No, it's the answer's designer. Eyes. That's the name oh, of the answer's designer. But I do appreciate the lyric in Atlanta. My home. <laughs> Um, would you like a connection or a one-liner, Brandon? Since you totally got that right, <laughs> dude, that was uh, that was sheer intuition right there. I'm like, I don't know, it just spoke to me. I think it question. definitely counts. Uh, let's go for uh, a connection. A connection. Your connection is 
Brad Pitt and Matt Damon. That is Ocean's Eleven. Yes. Oh cool. my god. We have, so we have the poster in our living room, and the whole idea was we sort of have our living room as a home theater, and we wanted to have different posters like sure. interchange, but Ocean's Eleven has been there for 17 <laughs> years. <laughs> Because we were like, oh, we'll like, change it out every so often. Nope. Ocean's Eleven has been just sitting in my television room my entire it life. It prepared you for this moment. I know. I, I saw it. Their names in the are in making. big letters at the top of it. I was just like, oh, that's it. That's the one. That's amazing. Oh, my God. I, just... I was going to guess Interstellar. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's the other dude. Yeah. My, Matthew my, McConaughey. It is the other dude. My first guess was, I was like, oh, The Martian. Obviously. There's other ones, too. Ocean's 12, Ocean's 13, <laughs> The Departed. There's like a whole list. Oh, Wait, yeah, I guess Brad Pitt was not in The Departed. Wasn't he? Do you what? want to tell me that? I'm not going to. The answer, awesome. Let's just go with the answer. The answer was Ocean's 11, and we're going to move on. Got Brandon, him. would you like a connection or a one-liner? Uh, all right. Uh, connections have been good to me. Let's do connections. All right, connection. <laughs> Nick Carter and Brian L Littrell. Nick, Nick Carter, uh, any Nickelodeon movie ever? Any Disney movie ever? Um, that's not exactly what we're looking for. It's that seven movie. It's the zombies. Nick Carter? Oh, darn it. Oh, that's a good guess, actually. Yeah. Well, kind of. No, the, Nick Carter's not the boy band one. Um, Nick Carter's in it. Is Nick Carter is the Backstreet Boys. It's, it, that's, the, that's, the, that's the Backstreet Boys. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, it's the, oh, I didn't. It's yeah. the Backstreet Boys. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> I, only, I, only, I only know Nick and Howie. I'm sorry. That doesn't anyway, count. Hey, Tess, would you like a connection or a one-liner? Should that not count? It's We're going to make it count. Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> half, half credit, right? Yeah, we'll give you one, po one okay, point okay. for that. Okay. One point for that. There you go. Um, I'll do one-liner. One-liner. Your one-liner is... When 900 years you reach, look as good, you will not. Oh, darn it. Is that, is that good? All right. That's Yoda, uh, Star Wars. Do you know which one? I, no, uh, Return of the Jedi. Yep, that's it. Okay, I was like, yep, either Empire points. or Jedi. That's it. <laughs> uh, Brandon, would you like connection or a one-liner? Okay, now the, the tables have turned. Now one-liners are like, one -liners are your, I'm in the groove. Are All right. That's, That's yeah, you get, you're in the one-liner groove. All right, one-liner. All right, your one-liner is. Well, good thing you chose a one-liner. <laughs> Here's looking at you, kid. Casablanca, Humphrey Bogart. I just did an oh, entire... It's, oh, it's Humphrey Bogart is how you pronounce Bogart. it. Not yeah, I'm thinking Harry Potter. I had a semester of research on film noir. I'm he ready. just did a presentation. <laughs> it was a good presentation. But there he is. can't pronounce his last name. Humphrey, Humphrey Bogart. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Brandon, we got time for one more. So Would you like a connection or a one-liner? Mix it up. Connections. Connection. All right. Connection is the last one. Here we go. Alex Hale and Eric Ketchin. God, I've never seen such a reaction to a question. <laughs> no, Michelle, I, I buzzed. Michelle. You reset it. I'm done. Winstuff. Yes. No, <laughs> no, specifically. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Winstuff host. Oh, that is true. <laughs> it's the show. Winstuff. She already, Winstuff. She already counted. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here's the thing. Wait. It doesn't matter if I get Y'all are all points. winners. <laughs> Y'all are all winners. There you go. There you go. There you go. The score, however, <laughs> will be revealed after this commercial break. Hey, Mom. I got the job. You've got the job. Welcome aboard. I've got a job to do today. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Donate to Goodwill. Help provide job training in your community. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there. What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs, just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? That can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover keytar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff. Create jobs. Hi, 
right, I'm Alex Hale, and welcome back to Win Stuff. We're at the very, very end, the final round. Brandon won today, so he's got 13 points. Second place was Tess with nine, and then Michelle with four. Uh, so we're in the final round. How's it feel to actually be on the show? That's you know, know. Th this feels amazing. I just love it. And I love even more that I'm over here in the, uh, the winner's chair. Mm. Uh, I like to change my uh, favorite Win Stuff memory to this moment right now. So. How about that? <laughs> that? That's perfect. That's perfect. Uh, so after years of, I mean, after you know so much time watching, are you, do you feel like you've mastered the final round? You know, it, I maybe. Oh, maybe not the final round. The final round is tricky. Final round is tricky. It's, it's a wild card. You never it can know make or break your game. You it's could, true. You could totally win, or you could win. That's, that's you know, yeah. The, with those stakes, you know what? I think I'll take them. Stakes are really <laughs> high. Um, all right, you ready? So you ready to go? I am ready to go. All right. So you know it's speed. You know it's real quick. Speed is First key. one's Disney hero or villain? Mickey oh, Mouse. Uh, hero. Yes. Wreck It Ralph. Hero. Correct. Cruella de Vil. Villain. Correct. Uh, King Candy. Villain. Correct. Hercules. Hero. Correct. Monstro. Villain. Correct. Allie Bennett. I, I don't... Hero. <laughs> Correct. No! Stitch. <laughs> hero. Correct. Maleficent. Villain. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Pocahontas. Hero. Correct. You got 9 out of 10. You missed Allie Bennett. That's a bummer. Yeah, that was weird. Second half is important item in Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings. Phoenix oh. Feather. Uh, uh, Harry Potter. Correct. Okay. Invisibility Cloak. Harry Potter. Correct. One Ring. Lord of the Rings. Correct. Time Turner. Harry Potter. Correct. Eye of Sauron. Lord of the Rings. Correct. Wizard Staff. Wizard Staff. Lord of the Rings. Correct. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Correct. <laughs> Golden Snitch. Harry Potter. Correct. Elfstone. Lord of the Rings. Correct. Sting. Sting? Sting. Like the, like the Just, band? <laughs> Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Correct. You got 19 out of 20. Wow. Man. <laughs> Killed it. What a rush. We're going to invite Tess and Michelle back on to talk for a little bit. Hey, guys. <laughs> welcome back. We're about to win stuff. Yeah. Uh, we've been here for a while. Welcome back yeah. aboard. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, the end, it's usually a club or an organization. We ask them what's coming up, what's you know, going on. So, what's coming up in y'all's lives? <laughs> What's on the horizon? Oh my uh, god, that makes it seem like we have futures. <laughs> uh, everyone does. Graduation and real life. All exciting things. So exciting we can hardly sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's the great unknown. I, I like that. That's a good answer. Yep. Test just, just great, good. It's the unknown. Good. Can't yeah. wait to graduate myself. <laughs> um, what year are you? I'm a freshman. Oh, great. Okay. Plenty of time. Freshman. I've got plenty of time. No, to you'll miss it. Fear Elon. and contemplate. Yeah. You're going to miss it. You'll miss wind I stuff. I know. I, I honestly will. I know I will. I already miss wind stuff. Are y'all going to miss wind stuff? I've yes. Of course. All year. And you're so finally back. <laughs> <laughs> finally back and it's slipping away. <laughs> it has a habit of doing that. It yeah. really does. It, it's like a bad addiction. Wind stuff for time. <laughs> well, that's uh, <laughs> Both. <laughs> that's one way to talk about it. I, I don't know. I've never like. <laughs> all right. I, I have to go on Wednesday. Or a sweet or addiction. I won't make it. It took such a turn. <laughs> Hey, you guys going on uh, stuff over here? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I felt every Wednesday. <laughs> Just leading up to it, the anticipation. I needed a fix, anxiety. yeah. Anxiety, yeah. Yep, yep, there you go. Uh, well, anyway, just want to say thanks you all so much. You, you all have been great for the show and done so much for us in terms of leadership. Michelle, not for me personally, but for all of us. You know, well, no, I didn't, okay, on the ELN side for sure. But oh. I can't, am I allowed to say those words? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, ESTV Brotherhood. Oh, wait. Well, but is it though? Oh. That's the question. Oh, yeah, we're leaving oh, you. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not leaving you. Wait, okay. <laughs> Good. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, though, yeah, no, thank you all so much from all of us on the wind stuff. Uh, we're going to miss you all. Mm -hmm. And uh, there you have it. That was the last episode of wind stuff for this year and the last episode of wind stuff in this very studio. Thanks so much for Aww. watching. <laughs>